Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we are continuing our Roguelands gauntlet attempts. We are two deaths in. Salvador kind of betrayed us last time. So today we're going for the consistency of Krieg. Let's get this job done. So Krieg is a character that I've used for speed running Roguelands, which makes me a little bit more comfortable that I'll have success um, in this traditional Roguelands 14 rounds version. Um, but we're really hoping to get off on the right foot. It's kind of why I chose him. And Krieg and Zero were the only other two characters that I didn't push through the Rogue Lands Gauntlet on the last attempt. How about a Cross of Cloud already? It's huge. Getting ourselves a very nice Cross of Cloud. A Singularity is important as well. I don't really need a 0, 0.0 second slag grenade, unless it's like an actual slag grenade. Okay. Grenade capacity plus five, kill skill duration. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, another corrosive cloud. A lobbed, a 0, 0.0 second fuse corrosive cloud. Now that's kind of nice. So the, the, of course, the Rogue Lands Gauntlet is getting through the entire series, or getting through each and every character, one time without dying. That is the goal. Um... It's not an easy challenge at all. Uh, we've had many failed attempts, or two failed attempts. But that's with full tryharding, doing everything we possibly can to, to get ourselves more damage. For round one, I'm looking at this fire pushka and hoping and praying that can be effective. I think snipers are a nice, easy way to cheese early rounds. Uh, so are launchers. And make sure we pick, pick up our class mod. Oh, we did. I thought we did pick up a class mod. Oh, no, a relic. Right. Life for my lifetime and second one health. It's not the worst. Let's go. Gulag. So I got a an armored stage, which is a little bit sad because I don't have a corrosive weapon. Um, I have a Teteor shotgun, I think. Unless I didn't pick it up off the ground. I thought I picked it up off the ground. I do have some of these bugged weapon spaces from the backpack mod. I'm assuming it is now, but I'm not too sure. All right, I'm gonna go to the stabbing rifle. It's got 420,000 damage at a four fire rate. And here is Lily, hello. Lily is my new cat that I got with my wife, Cindy. Hi, how are you? She is two years old. She had a her first litter. Um, and her litter was getting a little bit old. It started bothering mama a little bit because you know they could eat whatever kind of food. They didn't need to nurse anymore. So at the adoption clinic, my wife Cynthia and I went, and Cindy wanted, we're not in our, our current apartment, they only allow cats, and cats are a brand new thing that they're allowing, so they only allow cats, so we wanted to get a cat. Hi, Lily. I gotta give her pets. Um, they only allow cats, so we go to the adoption clinic, and Cindy is all about getting um, pets at the adoption clinic that are struggling to find homes. Either a lot of times they're older or they have weird quirks that people don't want to have to deal with. Oh my gosh, give me that spiker plus the shock damage that I just picked up. So Cindy uh, very much wants to give pets decent homes that are getting a little bit older or, you know, are struggling to find homes. And so we met Molly, who's 10 years old. There was only there were only four cats up for adoption at our at our local adoption clinic. There were, I think, more dogs available than cats. Um, just makes some sense. So we met Molly. She was 10 years old, and she was big queen energy. Like, she am I gonna be able to get that kill? Nice. And I also realized that I have reload on Star from playing Gage. So we're just playing with Anarchy in general. All right, let's do a one-shot reload. Maybe that'll be good. No, it doesn't look like it. Let's get our tags and then, yep, get the extra damage off you. We met Molly first, and this cat is was a long-haired cat, very cute. But she just kind of wanted nothing to do with us. Like, she wouldn't, the entire time we were in there playing with her, when we had to get to do our meet and greet, I don't think she looked either of us in the eyes. I had to kind of like not necessarily follow her around after a while. Ooh, a nice cannon. I'm a big cannon guy. Consumes two ammo per shot, but look, I mean, look at it. It goes boom. Okay, cool. Got a, a terror and a Malawan SMG that actually. A Malawan SMG that 
would go in my number two slot to be a new slag option for us. And I like that spiker. I think that spiker was pretty cool and fun. I miss the big cannon, lad. You know what I'm saying? It's the cannon, I believe. Then you get a, a Jacob's weapon. And let's just go ahead and take a nice little screenshot of that. Just a, it's just an absolute beautiful weapon. There we go. So it's when you get a Jacob's weapon, a Torg barrel, right? It's grip is Torg as well. Sock Vladov. I don't know what all those what all the stats are. I wish this mod. I had the mod. I wish the mod told me the stats. Like if you're gonna flood my card with information, tell me what the stats are on the different parts. I guess that'd be a lot though. Okay, we get a blaster, which is I think actually a pretty good option for us. The barrel is e tech and I believe it scales with splash damage or grenade damage. Which I'm, I I can buff up quite a bit in my left side tree. We do have a bit of a gun build going on, and, and I wouldn't be against doing it. I have to get to bloodbath. This is the this is the skill. But if I can't do that for now, you know what? I'm just gonna take maximum health. I'm going maximum health, and the renegade. I guess I'll pick up. We're gonna go maximum health. And hope that can kind of carry me. So we were talking to Molly at the adoption clinic. And she didn't want to really be around us. She was a nice cat. Like I pet her for a while. But she didn't want either of the kinds of treats. We were giving her both uh, hard treats and soft treats. So it just kind of came down to like. This is a very nice cat. And. She, she will find a very nice home. She was only been at the adoption clinic for 10 days. So, we decided to meet a Lily. And the adoption, and the work at the adoption clinic was very nice to us. Oh my gosh, an explosive fastball right off the rip. You kidding me? You kidding me? And this combo is plus five grade capacity. So now, I'm going to be going absolutely off. Alright, let's drop this. And I can use a cannon as well. Like, I'm... I'm... Juiced out my gourd. I have 10 out of 10 grenades already. Like, this is, this is nuts. Catch fastball. See ya. This is just going to be a fastball. This is called the, uh, the Randy Johnson run. Later. And Krieg is... Probably, I would say, second or third best grenade character. Potentially. And Rogue Lance gives you lots of grenades. We, oh, we're going to be just fine. I think we might be able to speedrun this faster than anyone ever thought possible. Later, kid. Oh, miss. Here we go. Still got five out of ten, and we pick up more. Take a transfuse. We take an adapt. Because at the end of the day, we are building towards Mania Creek, which is <laughs> a very oh shotgun damage. That's really really strong. Uh, Mania Creek, this middle skill tree Creek is very 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 good when you combine it with the Blood Explosion Green Tree and fuel the blood and explosive damage scalings for your tossing axes. And then you just go. A ton of max HP, tons of damage reduction. And you become kind of like a mega tank. I think what I want to do until we get released the beast is do fuel the rampage. I've already spec I'm already halfway down this road. I might as well stick this way. Alright, let's roll. Three, two, one. The southern shelf we go hey hey ho ho to the southern shelf we go i have a new mic uh setup it's more just the same mic oh let's just go ahead and rock this candy let's speed around the stage if we can if we can speed around the stage it'd be very nice you get a million melee damages account for my axis it does that is nuts go 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 faster faster 
Six more, six more. My reload speed is so slow though. And I'm out of, and I don't have my, oh, this is not good actually. Catch, here we go, catch. How does that not hit him? I'm tanky though, holy cow. Percentage of overkill damage healing me would be nice if I can get something like that. Okay, max health is super good. I think those skills are good too. Oh yeah. Scavenger, tanky enemy. Takes two fastballs to kill. All right, we go back into our action skill. Yep, this is Mage Creek. <laughs> Mage Creek. Yeah, nice. And by Mage, it's not about shooting fireballs. It's about playing around cooldowns. That's what Mages do. All right, number two slot is up for grabs, depending on which one of these I believe in more. Mine has a higher fire rate, the same chance to slag, higher damage. The only thing it has less of is a reload speed. And honestly, if I really want to, I could just drop reload. So Know what I'm saying this uh so train rifle this uh this scan is not doing so great for me I don't want to have that great of scalings for it though the rock assault rifle damage that could be <laughs> something really good and cooldown is, is nice I think we take a Snyder instead of this model one SMG I'm not so sure I'm gonna go real of the kill percentage of overkill damage heals us Creek has access to that we, we get to we get a bonus to Oni. Oh my lanta, brother. Okay. I'm trying to go this explosive damage thing. You know, I'm trying to like, you know, make grenades work right now. Oh, Randy Johnson. Back it on up. Don't go down. But I might as well use my fastballs against the mobs. Because if I don't. Catch. I can't use them against Oni anyway. So. I'm going to save my, my mega cooldown. For the boss and let's try to chain just do my best to chain fastballs okay, there's Oni right there we can go for some range hits and take all my health and damage there we go the full health on that oh back it on up oh i'm dead and i'm so dead no death number three death number three ready for thee we go for the long range kill. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm dead. Hey, you know what? <laughs> That's not death for the counter. The more deaths on the counter, the better. We did not get there with Krieg. That was ridiculous. Let's go attempts. And put that to three. How's that looking up there? Looks great. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Love that for us. All right, let's jump right back in. We're gonna go right back to the psycho. All right, maybe we can swap our strategies up a little bit here. We have a cool coach gun. Actually, what I want to do and a nice bandit launcher. Okay, I was gonna say what I want to do is remove this parts mod because the parts mod doesn't really add that much, and it's just adding waste way too much to the card. I don't like it as much. And the fact that I lost a run while also having a fastball is ridiculous on Krieg, especially. I'm immediately drawn to the splash damage with the Vladoff barrel. But I feel like these other ones could probably do a lot more damage. This apparatus or this leverage. What I have in my hand is a much, much higher damage weapon. Faster fire rate. By a lot. Which more than makes up for the difference in damage. Alright, we'll take the Aegis as well. And we can get, do a quick comparison. Take that. Is Liliana gonna be in the cords? No, she's not. Yeah, her name is Lily. So our cat's name is Lily. She's the second cat we met, and she was amazing. Oh, a nice development. It's a it's a times four Hyperion shotgun. Which means it's going to run out of ammo quickly, but we have ways to mitigate that effect. Let's go. By the way, and I, I didn't... I thought about saying something about it when I started this video when I was playing Krieg, but 
I mean, a character assassination in the Borderlands movie. Like, character assassination. He, he shows up. I mean, uh, spoilers. Uh, she sh um, they do a, an, an homage, a reference to Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Wait, I didn't take a shield, but whatever. Don't need one. I'm, I'm Krieg anyway. I right, just take a little bit of a Mopey's candy and hit, hit this guy with Axis if I can. That's all right. We have Mopey's candy. We should be fine here. Drop reload. Ow. Make sure we make use of all of it, though. Let's just something that's a little bit faster fire rate. Oh, we lost our candy, but we have accuracy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got one shot. What happens when you don't have a shield? Drop him. Drop him like a tie. Drop him like a tie. So then they, they started off with the Borderlands movie with an homage, a reference to Star Wars. It's like, I'm here to save you, Princess Leia, a.k.a. Tina. It's like, oh, a little short for a stormtrooper, or they really sent their shortest soldier. My, my father really sent his shortest soldier. Come save me. It's like, it's a it's a Star Wars thing. Anyways, Krieg bursts into the hallway uh, because he's messing with his guards. They're like, oh, you, you must be Krieg, right? He's like, ugh. Like, okay, you're with us. Which, if, if you were to make more follow-on movies which I, I don't think they will but i completely understand like let me get a kill here thank you um i completely understand having him just be like a static character i don't need 15 million dynamic characters but if that's where he was as a static characters like yep i'm just tiny tina's like i've heard people say dog or pet um in youtube videos i don't know if i would go as far as to say that that krieg behaved dog like i don't think that's really respectful to the character but i, I guess some characters are, are designed that way i don't really know i i think that he wasn't so much dog like as he was just very loyal right if you're saying that dogs exhibit loyalty and he exhibited loyalty yes Definitely. Which is something we know is kind of true about Krieg, is that what makes him a little bit less of a psycho is the fact that he is very loyal uh, to Maya. <clears throat> I think it would make a little bit of sense that he would be loyal to Tiny Tina. Okay, I think we go feed the meats for 10. And... We just pray that we can get ourselves a corrosive cloud and, and we just we play for melee creek. I honestly just think that that is our strategy going forward. Let's go to pressure plates. Grab them all. Grace, a scarab, Pushka. Okay, we take the Pushka. And I think we can start upgrading our inventory a little bit here. Pushka comes in at the number one slot. I would say that the Snyder can also come in here. Then let's rock, let's rock today with a little coach gun. Its grip is Jacob's, it's matching grip. So let me try this one out. And what about my other Jacob shotgun? My other Jacob shotgun's grip is bandit. So nope. Okay. I think this could be my, wep my weaponry of the future. The last thing I want to do is get a launcher out here. Should have one. I thought I did. I do. It's a bandit launcher. It's green. It's right here. Very cool. Now we have a cat. What's up? Shout outs to Lugia a hunter in the chat. It says, yo. He says, how you doing? Uh, I'm good. I was actually just talking about my new cat, uh, Lily. Uh, Lily. Okay. Oh, we're doing, we're doing Mania Creek. Mania Creek all the way to... Uh, dragons and beyond to try to complete the roguelands gauntlet which i am currently on stage one of because i want to make i want to make a roguelands guide but i can't make a roguelands guide until i i i, I complete the, the gauntlet run if i think if i complete the gauntlet run no one else is completing a gauntlet run that would make me the ultimate authority in this game forever i can make a one-stop shop guide 
It just blows everybody's out of the water. So I'm completing this gauntlet run and then I can do whatever I want. Yeah, I've been watching the gauntlet recently. I've had so much fun watching. Good, good, bro, good. Well, we're playing Krieg. I got a Pushka. It's not a Droog in the pr in the primary slot. A Vladov Pushka in the primary slot. Followed up by a Snyder. So I'm double snipered up on a Tuesday. Then I've got the coach gun of matching Jacob's grip. So a double barrel. And a bandit launcher. Just getting started here. Let's go to the let's go to the bandit shotgun. Or the Jacob shotgun. I get the fire right twice because it's a double barrel or that three magazine size. Boom, get those crits. You have cooldown rate on the relic slot for more. Oh, Zach's rampaging. Oh, that must have hurt. Ironclad versus Krieg. Who wins it? All right, brother. I'm Krieg. It's a hard knock life for you out here. It is what it is. Got him. Oh, really? He lives. Okay. Make it. <clears throat> I'm sure the better strategy is just do a hammer pair, as they say. Where instead of taking one shot and then trying to aim in and take a second shot to get as accurate as possible, you instead just do a hammer pair, which is two shots in such quick succession that the, the recoil is infected. But I'm not that good at it. As you can see, the second shot landed up here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's actually possible to do hammer pairs in a Borderlands game. All right, max health. Plus six fuel the rampage. This is that's probably best in slot. Like, if I had to guess, because of the way this character functions, you kind of need these two to be effective. Now, now what we need is a corrosive, bouncing, Betty. I'm not doing the torch. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to be going to the right side skill tree, the fire skill tree on Creek, unless I get legendary torch class mod and a decent enabler for my weapon. The strongest I have ever gotten with torch Creek is with a fire interfacer, and I really don't think, and I didn't even beat the dragons. I could not. Oh, a ravager on a Tuesday. Matching grip to both. The, the grip is torqued, but I can tell it's torqued because of the, the big buttons. I want to learn the parts using this. But because I also want to learn what the parts did, so this, this mod isn't really that worth it for me. Okay, so let's, think, let's talk about the Jacobs. It is what it is. Okay, now we have a blade. Except, the, oh, actually, we don't want the blade because the blade lowers our melee damage because of the way melee damage scaling works. Unfortunately, this Ravager actually nerfs us. We don't actually have to have it out or anything like that. But when you're playing Krieg, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to not want any sort of melee blade. Maybe, I think maybe the Rapier or something like that. Maybe Law and Order would be, I think, decent. I don't know if those are even good enough to say. Okay, let's just go ahead and start off with a little bit of Blazax Rampage. There's no point in having a cooldown relic if it's down on cooldown, you know what I'm saying? So step back, destroy you. Now you're you're crowd controlled. And you're gone. XP loaders it's just weave them. Let's just weave them. I have a lot of bonus max health. It doesn't hurt me as much as it hurts other vault hunters. Backing on up. I think I've, we're still on EXP loaders. I'm looking for a Corrosive Cloud grenade. Corrosive Cloud. That way I can damage myself and get my Buzzaxe Rampage up very quickly. I think if I t let one of these guys hit me, that, it would actually be beneficial to my game. But for now, we're not. Corrosive Cloud. Um, Do a homing murder for now. That sounds pretty good, actually. It's, 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 it's just an overall DPS grenade. Be careful about not letting it kill us. Oh, that was a pretty clutch Krieg play right there. I was at one HP because of the explosion. Flap over one axe to finish him off when I was one, probably one or two shots away from death. So, Get the crit action skill back immediately because of the way we spec our points. And if you notice, when I get knocked back. This is something that Randy Pitchford has said. When I get knocked back, see how I don't go that far away? Like, I'm still in melee range. That's something they they programmed into Krieg specifically. 
Like in playtesting, he was getting knocked back so much that he wasn't fun. But watch this gun loader shoot me a little bit. Watch. Watch my action scale. It, it's it's plus six fuel the rampage. This is my class mod. He says, uh, Lugia asked if I have a better skill tree this time around. We're going to find out. I think I'm going the same skill tree, but... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I don't have Silence the Voices yet, but when I do, I will be swapping over to Silence the Voices. Okay. So I have to make a decision here. I think Empty the Rage makes the most sense. And how this works is... I get more melee damage, but... If my shield is down or my magazine is empty, I get more bonus. But I don't have to have my magazine empty to get the full bonus if if my shield is down. Once my shield goes down, it doesn't matter. But off rip, what you can do is you get this like a a Snyder or something. And just run into an area and the, and the entire idea, and I might even do a TMP instead. The entire idea is you run to an area, drop a mag, right? Drop a mag of slag and then swap. And swap to your Kozak's Rampage. Do some clearing out. And then when you come back, you just reload your gun and you start over. 43% is better. And explosive damage is extremely good. Not yet, but it is extremely good. Okay. Keep it going. All right, so a little bit of slag, slaggity bag, bag, bag. It's an ultimate badass. We're going to be testing out our build against this guy. Need to hit my axis. Yeah, I think I got this guy straight up in a 1v1. Yeah, pretty easily. That's without... That's without... The most powerful skill in the game, Release the Beast. Oh. And now that I know, at least in this game... In, in rogue lands specifically that krieg melee can can clear dragons consistently now that now that that is good knowledge for me and i have a blade on this gun this sucks but it's not so bad right now to be honest i'll just swap off of it the thing is if i swap off of it i won't get the damage bonus my shield's down anyway so it doesn't matter now that i know that i can clear the dragons pretty easily Rig is by far and away. I, I mean, I've, I, I died once in him, but. Just start a little bit slow. What's up, Clayton? Start a little bit slow. Oh, Give me some sauce in that melee, please. Really, bro? The tough part about Krieg, um, When it comes to fight for your life, is that I don't get that much health back in fight for my life. But I need people to be hitting my health in order to get Fuel the Rampage to work. Right here, we intentionally do not want to go into Buzz Ice Rampage until we are ready to go for a kill. There we go. We should be getting full health. It's a full heal. Krieg is a play at low health, play at high health kind of character. We might want to let this guy level up a little bit. Maybe he'll give us some better loot. I don't know. Kind of just want to kill him. But right now, he's ta he he's tanking that flamethrower guy, so... I like what I'm seeing. I'm trying to hit both of them. Trying to get some value. Destroy this plunder on the side. This guy is not serving me any purpose. No tick that's targeting me. Doesn't serve me any purpose either. Yeah, it's just me and this. It's, yeah, it's a 2v1, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Or 2v, 2v3. Me and, this, me and this other guy. I like playing Kree because he is a bandit. Let's go. I get to hit one of the... the so switches very carefully to know in order to open one of these bad boys. There we go. Okay, I see a, a slag transfusion, which does make some sense to me. But what I'm really looking for, the creme to the creme, would be a longbow corrosive cloud, a 0, 0.0 second fuse time. That would I am nothing. With that, I am everything. These are identical. One slightly better. Holy cow, that's crazy. Okay, max health. Do I do I want the want this one? Thrill of the kill. I don't think so because thrill of the kill gives me health back for overkill damage. But I already get heal to full 
in Buzzax Rampage, so it's kind of a wasted skill later on. But it is a really good skill. Um, melee damage plus six fuel the blood, and plus five silence the voices. Probably going to be best right now. Well, I, actually, I don't get to silence the voices yet. We go salt the wound. Very, very powerful skill. You get 20 stacks of melee damage with this bad boy. And whatever 20 times 7, it's 140 percent plus whatever the 5. Is it really 175 percent melee damage at 20 stacks? Whatever it is, it's crazy. The Gia says, I I've been waiting wanting a PC for so long, and this mod is even more motivating. Uh, honestly, yeah. I paid 900 for my current PC. And if I wasn't making videos and instead was doing a capture card, I think a console would be my way to go. And just hope that uh, it would be a Steam Deck, honestly. I was just doing it. If it was just purely for gaming, a Steam Deck would be my way to go. Because you can play anything on the Steam Deck. Like, the cross compatibility options are insane. Especially if you learn how to actually do it yourself, like code it yourself. I don't, but if you if you do, like you could do a lot of cool stuff. Because you can run it I think it runs on Linux. A Steam version of Linux. We're gonna just run this Vlad off uh, slag sniper for a bit. It does the same thing as my other slag weapons, except it doesn't have a a debuffing blade on it. All right, for Doc Mercy, we're just gonna take our time, soften him up. Soften him up, hit him with this incendiary barrel when he gets close. I think I missed it. Oh, that's okay. I do have a lot of damage because it's off the wound. Nine stacks, 10 stacks. And okay, now we switch to the bandit launcher and hope that it gets us there. Punch him, punch him. Push anything that's not. Come on, get me there. And I go down. We have to run it back. Crazy. You've just up the death counter. We're up to four deaths. It's it's not going well. It's it's. How am I supposed to make? How am I supposed to make the ultimate rogue lands guide? If I don't have mastery of the characters. You know what I'm saying? Like, this isn't that hard. And by the way, I'm going to save quit. This is known to crash Borderlands 2 if you do this while playing Rogue Lands. Do not spam save quit. I'm going to turn off and have a lot of different mods disabled here. I have Keep Anarchy enabled. I have Photo Mode enabled. I have the Python Part Notifier enabled. I want to disable it. Fourth time is the charm, says Lugia. Lugia is a really cool Pokemon, and your name Lugia Hunter is a really cool name. The first Pokemon game that I fell in love with was Pokemon Silver, and I wasn't even playing. I was watching my brother play. Let's drop Sanity Saver. I don't think we need it. Backpack Manager. I don't think we need it either. Because the, the base default backpack size for Roguelands is 100. That's as of the 1.1 update. So this is the current update, 1.1.0. And I checked a couple days ago, they have not, uh, they have not updated since. The updates that I would like... <clears throat> I think I talked about this the other day was um, number tweaking for the amount of enemies you need to kill per stage. For some stages, like, you know, because some stages need to more to be fun. Sometimes you just you just burn them all like that robot stage where the last enemy is like a, is a super badass. I think that last enemy should be included in the fight and it should be at, at 16. It should be the number. I don't know how easy that is to do. Okay, so 
A sticky homing cross to transfusion, transfusion, a bouncing Betty. The three transfusions, I get to just pick whichever one I want. 1.4 second fuse time, sure. Take that one. There's our launcher. Jacob's accuracy recovery, no thanks. Yeah, 10 just really isn't enough. I agree. So, but I I was playing with the setting on the other day where clear uh, enemies on round end. You can turn this on and off on the fly if you're playing this mod. So, uh, Roguelands, clear enemies on round end, yes and no. So I was, I was just playing around with this. And... You don't get the movement speed boost even after clearing the stage. So I was like, I really don't think I, I want to run it. I really want that movement speed. But then I was like, well, how about after, how about have a setting where you clear the stage, you get the movement speed buff, but they put the, but the command to kill all enemies does not happen, but you still get the God mode and maybe give me like a candy, give me like Mopey's, like make me super OP that I can th shred through the ultimate badass at the end of the stage or something. So, I'm gonna stick with clear on the enemies or clear enemies on round end. Yes, but I wish the numbers were a little bit tweaked. And and the 1.1.1, even though no, they're done. They're not done with updates, guys. They're never making updates. I'm sitting there as I'm going to sleep. I'm like, they should just give this. Teach me how to how to do it. Teach me how to update it. They're probably like, learn yourself. Oh my god, I don't want to learn myself, guys. This time we're taking a shield. A Tesla is our new 1A for grenades. We thank God we have something that's actually useful. Let's get out there. There's no chance of us clearing this in, in a single episode. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Oh, come on. Give me something good to eat here. Okay, we take that. Max health one. All right, right after kill. Let's take that one for now. How about we give it a chance? Okay, maybe, maybe not. Fire rate. Fire rate. That worked for my axis. Looks like it is. Looks like it definitely is. Oh, yeah. I right after kill. Why am I getting ultimate badass? And like, what is what is my luck right now? I'm gonna die. It's the shock one. I, I can't even spam my Tesla grenades to kill it. I'm so lucky that this enemy is not already corrupted. It's going to corrupt. Oh my gosh, I'm a sniper. Get me out of here. Why does it have to be shock? You know what I'm saying? Like I have Tesla grenades. That's like my like get out of jail free right now. Are you kidding me? Oh my grenades are so bad. Oh my gosh. Max de Jacquier says, I played like a dozen runs and got to dragons once. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm telling you, brother. I'm telling you, not an easy game. Not an easy game. Explosive damage up. Max health, feed the meat, fuel the rampage is what I want. That's, that's, that's what I want. Russian's gonna oh plus five plus five bloodbath is gonna be sick too. If I get myself a Hector's Paradise, I'm totally pivoting. I wanna let you know that I hate you. Do I have anything fire? Did I did I pick up anything fire at all? God. Jack Diddley to deal with deal with these guys, except for a couple launchers. Like maybe I a slag and bag for 15, but like I think this stage is is somewhat fair. I like the amount of enemies in this stage. As I completely just rinse the stage with my launchers. If you're trying to get to max, if you're trying to get to max rank, when in doubt, launch her out. There's no reason to mess around these stages if you don't have to. A little bit of a waste of Buzzax Rampage. I have to deal with the second badass fire skag or second badass skag in general. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to go for the, for the beans here. This time I can use my Tesla. Drop, drop reload. Oh, and the round ends. You see what I'm saying? That's why I want the numbers tweaked a little bit. A little bit. The, the hard part is that has to happen stage to stage, you know? Every stage needs to be tweaked specifically. 
to the specific amount of enemies in that stage. Right, I'm down to have more enemies to fight if I want to fight for more chests. 100% down for that. That's a really cool idea. I think that's like a key element to the game that I liked right away. That, oh, if I want to fight for more loot, it's not just because I want to have to run over there. I, I don't mind running over there as much anymore because, well, I have super speed. But if I was still required to clear these engineers here, right, to get access to a red chest, then that would be kind of cool. Is what I do be saying. All right, let's go grab pressure pad. Because after the round is over, if you know where things are, it's really nice to have the super speed. I don't want it to not... I don't. I want to have to clear the whole stage. If I want to get everything. If I don't want to get everything, and I want to just kind of speed run over here, jump, get my 15 kills, jump down here, grab my pressure pad, and go, I, I don't mind doing that either. So that's going to be like a tier 2 strat for me, probably. Lugia says, I agree. I think it would be fun to have to clear out the rest of the room. It's just a giant circle of slaughter, so why not? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't have said it better myself. I don't think there is a better way to say it. Yeah, exactly. It's a circle of slaughter. It's, it's a dungeon clearer. Everybody knows it. Let's tag you, and then let's bag you. It's a 1v1. You leave him low, and then go for somebody else. You wanna punch me? Dude, I'm- Dude, you're- You're my backup. You're my number one. It's just- It was a thing. It was like, now we're bonded, bro. You're- You're safe. You are safe with me. You're safe. Bro. Ah! Actually, yeah. Tag me. Thank you. It's, I- You still get faster cooldown if somebody hits you. Even without, uh the rampage as long as it's to your hp this guy right here he's been helping me out give me one more punch thank you like this guy make sure he's slag guy yeah okay. i think i can still take out this guy in the, uh, this guy in the right hopefully there we go i want to keep my original guy alive to be honest he's helping me out he's not doing that much damage to me so, keep him alive if I can. He's pretty low. Alright, swap to my launcher and just take these guys out. They're pretty tanky. I don't mind using my launcher ammo. Oh, bro, don't you see me as I'm taking my shot? Now they're going to stack up. Boom, 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 boom. Let's get everybody involved in this. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Everybody's aggro run to me right now, but they won't be eventually. If the enemies kill each other, I'm pretty sure I get credit, so. Let them do their thing for a second. I want to farm a pressure plate. What's up, bro? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, hey, don't do that. I won't. Trust me, I, I'm not I'm not trying to get involved. What a fire pushka. Luke asked if I've seen the first episode of Reborn Flak. I have seen the first episode of Reborn Flak. Yeah, I think I watched that this morning. Um, and because of the, I think just the nature of the... I didn't watch the stream or anything. I think just the nature of the... Of the... The content for me is like... There were no World Drops mod. I was supposed to... Experience like a, a Borderlands 3 that wasn't... Just all legendaries. But the nature of the content is like, oh, look at this drop that I got. And then an edit to what I'm doing with it. And, um, oh, that gets me to this next drop. It still felt like all legendary. So I'm sure for him, it was it was a lot different to not have world drops. And it's going to mean a lot more going forward for him, I think. As he does, like, Slaughter Shaft, no world drop stuff. But for me, it's like, for me, as I was watching, I was thinking... Like, uh, oh, yeah, it's still, it's to me as a viewer, it was still like, oh, you, you got a shock title wave in the first two runs or first run. That's a rare drop. That is, that is a shot. I feel like the shock one specifically is, I don't get it. 
So he was running that for a bit, and then he was running a monocle, which was really cool. Like these are very cool guns. He says, uh, Lugia says, yeah, it's tough to do content like that. I will enjoy no world drop too, but yeah, it's a little like lackluster for the view. It's, don't say, it, it, it's not lack. Is his? I think as this as reborn flag progresses, we're gonna see not not having world drops mean a little bit more. Especially for class mods, depending on whether or not he's gonna be god roll farming as well. Yeah, you definitely get the most if you're at the stream. Couldn't agree with you more. So I failed with this build twice in a row. Just straight up. I have failed with this build twice in a row. But I'm going to continue to do it. Okay. So a big part of Roguelands is that it's hard. Look at that dungeon kill stick. And I we I think we just were missing a little bit of that. So go to the Vladoff launcher. I mean, I'm saying that it's uh, that it's hard. I mean, this game is hard. It is. But... I think clearing a stage should mean a little bit more. And I'm for reducing the amount of stages uh, per round. I, I, am, I am for that. I I stated that explicitly in his... In Joltz's... What do you guys want to change to the game? I said the first thing I would do is a restructuring the format of the rounds of the dungeons. And then I asked for rounds. I asked, and then I asked him basically for an EXP loader horde round where they all came flying at you. Which I don't know if that was a part of adding the horde, if he came up with the horde idea on his own, or whether or not someone else came up with that idea. But the hordes are great. <laughs> and obviously, obviously, there's just, there's just as just someone who just plays it for fun. Obviously, it's like, okay, well. You have something to say about it, don't you? You're like, no, 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 I don't. It's like, yeah, you do. What, what is it? Uh, well, the horde rounds. Yeah, what about them? They're really cool. And I think it would be really cool if one, the, the death counter was higher, so I had to defeat more foes. And two, if if there was a little bit of enemy diversity. I'm out of launcher ammo. I gotta be careful here. Here we go. Round is cleared. We are fine, fine, fine. Hopefully we can get a launcher to stash to get ammo for or, or something here. Those extra rampage is ridiculous. Okay, so the vault symbol should be around here somewhere. I think it's over here. Thing is, if I'm gonna, I also, if I'm gonna be making a guide for this, how I have to know all the locations, right? I have to know all the locations, and I do know all the locations, a lot of them. This one's a little bit weird. It spawns. There we go. There we go. I think they did do something differently here. Like it used to fly away, but they've kind of fixed it. Or like they have to be a little bit closer or something. Or like this is the reason you have to actually press it now because of this one. This dartboard is sick. I play darts. Where's my line? So yeah, obviously this episode is not going to be ending uh, with an absolute victory. Um, we can take our time and kind of do what we want here. Uh... Yeah, it looks like this is a regulation dartboard, I want to say. 19s are there, 16s, yeah. Okay. What are we shooting? From how far? We're going for both eyes? Oh, as I fall down. Okay, I got I got this Vladoff sniper. Where you at? Where you at? I'm I'm running past it. It's like it's down here, you you fool. Okay. Breathe.
Where my bullet decals go? There is no way. There is no way. Are you serious? It's a dartboard, but you can't see where the bullets go on it? Okay, okay. Scratch everything I've said about the format changes and adding anything like that. The next step, the future. Future is a, a giant dartboard, right? Four friends. And you're playing darts with random weapons. You're trying to tr score points. You're playing cricket, I guess, or something like that. From super far away. You can all be playing whoever you want to play. Try hard to play zero. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's go to. Again, we this has not worked yet. I I just want to I just want to point that out. Grab. Oh my, Atlanta! That's right. I got the candy. Go oh, go. Clear the round. Go around. Get gas cans while we're at it. Get gas, get gas cans later. He resists. Doesn't resist to the head, though. Pow. Oh, ho, ho. come on. Okay, okay. Alright, uh, chill, 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 no, no, no. Relax, relax. Candy, candy. Farm candies. Please. I'm gonna start begging for them. Like, <laughs> bro, you're not, you're not guaranteed that many candies. Trust me. I'm guaranteed candies. The real question is, how long can one episode go? I'm so dead here. It's like, it's it's, it's, it's over for me. It's, it's completely over. Catch. Flat. Okay, we're still alive. I think it slowed me down. No amount of enemies could ever stop the permanent damage I'm going to do to Oni with these axes. I'm alive. Because the CC from the first guy stopped the second guy from... Floating. Permanent damage, permanent damage. A little bit there, a little bit. Catch. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm officially going to die. I could not have gone worse for me. Do I have a transfusion though? We're actually not messing around anymore. Okay, we are messing around. Permanently and efficiently. Oh my gosh. We live. We farm for healing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Better transfusion. And getting these grenades will add to my grenade count anyway. Don't let his shield come back. That's something we cannot let happen. Alright, let's start tagging him. Is Krieg? Oh! Come on. We have to run. Not to take any damage. And throw some transfusions and slag up. Our only hope. Honestly, let him get an angle on us. Maybe two, two more transfusions might do the trick. drop him can we get a buffalo that's a really really sad drop i'm gonna be honest with you um does it replace me yeah, i can replace my cross of smg okay so we do want to get gas cans because i do want whatever they can offer me the grenades because i want a cross of cloud and shields, because I want a really nice adaptive shield. So let's shoot these gas cans. Out. And honestly, when it comes to the when it comes to the, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna risk it. There's no reason not to. If I die, I die. Um. Yeah, there's no reason not to risk it. I want that double red chest. 
Focus up and don't die. But my first death on this. Look at look at this. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Are you really? Are you serious? Disappointing would be is, is an understatement. I'm not gonna move a muscle. I'm not gonna move a muscle. Uh, for, forget the corrosive cloud. Don't need it. All right. So our I I think we have a decent matchup against this boss. Big spider. Don't think she will like getting hit with slag. Mixed with a little bit of fire burn damage. I don't think she'll like it. Oh, she, uh, does she have resistance to fire? I don't think she does, so. Just lost a couple of those. And we can one shot spiderlings. At, at this point, it'd be like really nice to have blood explosion. But. Fortunately, I do not have it. It's fine. Pretty. That's a. That's a decent. Was actually rampage. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Access to a legendary. What is it? Madhouse. This is a pretty nice weapon for this area. Oh boy! If it's ever gonna be good, it's gonna be good right now, right? It's an AOE. It's an AOE gun. It's gonna put me down. I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's not gonna do anything for me. Come on, Madhouse. Carry, 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 carry. In the hands of an angel. I right, kill you, and then now we gotta go on the boss. Just for a bit. The only problem with this boss is that she kind of counters me. Now that I think about it. She can heal. On me. She's probably she's probably plotting to do that right now. So it becomes an issue. It, it becomes an issue for us. Hopefully, I can headshot her. <laughs> this buffalo. I'm pretty sure the buffalo is the highest damage critical hit gun in the game. Right? Isn't the highest the highest base damage or highest critical hit damage gun in the entire game? All right, we almost have our Buzzard Rampage up. Boom. All right, let's Rampage it. The Lings go down. I have a bunch of them I can turn to if, if in times of distress. She's not, she's not healing right now. He's going to oh get out she doesn't go for a heal perfect all right so we still have one more phase but the the dangerous part is if she starts healing if she casts it then that's not going to be good for us we need to make sure that we're going for full damage inside that window i can land a crit i can one shot these guys but I'm not critting at all I feel like it's tough to crit these lads or something i want to be saving my bus axe rampage to be honest and actually, the corrosive dot is really, really nice. Okay, here's that's the heal move. Heal move. Run, 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 run. The best you can. She might heal off me a little bit here. I'm slowed. Should be over now. Yep. Yeah, I think she might be doing a second move. I'm just gonna back off a little bit and start going for a slag. There we go. Yep. I don't want to be involved with that. That's what I'm afraid of. And she will do it multiple times in a row as she gets low, I'm pretty sure. I have seen it happen, but I don't know exactly how it works. It might just be on a cycle. But I, I feel like it's a thing. Yep. There's another one. After this one, I think I'm going to go in. I'm not going to do it twice in a row, right? She wants, she wants more bow and arrow. She wants more bow and arrow. Wants more bow and arrow. Don't go for the bow and arrow. You have to go for the heal juice. <laughs> it 
This it's just, it's just rookie maneuvers all day from these bosses. All right, a handy hydra, kiss of death, fireball. Okay, I think the handy hydra can go my three slot. The madhouse, unfortunately, prophet's grandeur <clears throat> is not quite what we're looking for. Okay, I'm I'm quite ready <laughs> for a mimic. Dude, I'm still I, I'm I will never never again. I've been I've been scared too many times and I, I am still probably will just What I took the TDR because I have TDR chucks is something that's that very much on my mind actually let's get a TDR SMG out here But what is my relic I don't have a relic take the cooldown right relic Thirty-six magazine, almost thirty-six magazine. But this one is explosive. I think I like that one a little bit better. You can't stop me. Singularities make sense. I don't think bouncing baddies can hurt us. I know I have God's, God mode on, but I'm not getting dotted. The dot is really what I'm looking for. Don't, I don't ever hate these iridium chests. Not worth it. Okay. And do I really care about amp shots? No, I don't think I do. All right, let's go. All right, it's time. It's finally time. Sounds the voices. It's time. The, the play style is going to be completely changing. Honestly, I do like the meat field of Rampage best. I have an amp shield, which is okay. I think my, I like my transfusions right now. Until I get a, until I get a crossover cloud. Hey, this is a this is a matchup. This is a matchup that <laughs> is not so great for me. Let's go for your SMG corrosive. I have this Hydra for these guys, hopefully. Amp shot, Hydra, in close range. The shield's gone. He's not dead though. Okay. Not a bad shot. I'll toss a couple of these bad boys out here. Actually, the Bouncing Betty. Bouncing Betty. Go pretty hard here. Hot Loader is my counter. Keep him, keep him afar. Oh, and as long as we snipe him, we're Legolas. So here's the thing about Silence the Voices. Silence the Voices gives your, your Buzz Axe tosses more damage. And what's the downside of Silence the Voices? Is that sometimes you hit yourself when you melee, but you do not hit yourself with tosses. So Silence the Voices is really good for a Legolas style, you know, throwing axe, spam throwing axe. Freak. So I'm, I know that these constructors resist corrosive damage. Or resist, um, not corrosive, but grenade damage. I'm still gonna try this TDR nonetheless. Some bouncing Bettys. Oh, baby. This is not good. That thing is gone. Catch. Catch. Oh my gosh, the run lifts. Let's go, baby. It's not a bad uh, slag option for us. I mean, we're, we're, we're building to a formula. And the formula uh, is as described in Mr. T X01s. This makes sense to me. A little strength relic, a little melee damage. Because I believe now we have access to at least the beast. 
everything changes. Everything changes. We have enough money to respec. Do. Eat the meats. Empty the rage. We no longer take the rampage because we no longer have to. It is a nice fallback option. Don't care. Do not care. I am a light diffuse enjoyer, but I'm going to be a light diffuse enjoyer when I get bomb bombax bombardier for the explosive buzz x tosses. So here is like is like where where do I put my points on Creek before you go next? And it is a tough decision. Tell you what, I'm gonna enjoy her. Light the fuse, strip the flesh. Let's go. Sought the wound me. Sounds the voices all the way. We're gonna go redeem the soul, just obviously because longer light the fuse times. And then I think magazine size is really important. And now this this frees up slot four for us because our slot four we are not using a launcher anymore. So, let's go a pistol. A TDR pistol that we can check out people. Yeah. Walmart weapons. <laughs> Am I right? Alright, so on top of one of these hedges is a pressure... There's a uh, pressure plate. I think it's this one right here. Yeah. It's a nice TDR SMG. Very quick reload speed. What is that? Uh oh, it's a times four. It's gonna consume four ammo whenever I shoot a TD or shotgun. Great. That's exactly what I want. Not. Oh. The times two toward pistol does make some sense. Double penetrating injector. Sure. Let's see. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, I, I'm now I'm officially scaling explosive damage. We're playing Krieg. In case you weren't aware. Well, speaking of explosive damage, there's a chance if we can get this vault symbol over here that we can continue on. Mm, adaptive. Not the best adaptive, but it's an adaptive, so we take. Me low, and we go, go, go. A TDR launcher. Valkyrie cry. Do we do it, or so do I? Um, I think we do. What gun, though? What gun goes away? A Hydra. I'm sorry. Let's go, baby. So, apparently, there's like a bug where... No matter how much ammo is left in your magazine, you only consume one ammo with a TDR launcher or something. I think that's a thing on Krieg, which makes um, launcher builds viable. Okay, I'm gonna go straight into Buzzag's Rampage as soon as I can. But I have to be low on HP. Goss, see ya. We toss it. And of course, my first time, I, my first chance I have to get released the beast, I don't do it. I don't think it's actually like that bad of a thing, to be honest. I'd rather just get the round over with, you know? Can't see anything, but that does not matter. Oh, I guess it does matter. It's a scavenger, of course it is. Get the fuse. Catch. You don't want to see me light the fuse either, brother. I'm telling you. Either, either way, you die. Mm, yeah, I told this guy I would get him. He's gone. Here, kiddo. I don't even need the following explosion. Just what it is. Just what a doobie is. Catch. 
<laughs> Easy round. We're not even playing Borderlands anymore. We're playing Krieg Lands. This is what I call Krieg Lands 2.0. My Krieg Lands 2.0 build 2024. All right, a Hulk is exactly what we're looking for. This is an insurance point. In case you're wondering, like, why did you just put a point and strip the flesh? That's an insurance point, okay? I'm playing with fire. Okay. Taste of blood is very strong. We take that. Speaking of insurance, we have a class mod that is better than this. Hmm. The skill is called Strip the Flesh. That's what we're doing. That's what we want. I don't think I have anything like that. I don't think so. I honestly think that that's the best one I got. Our class mod spot is definitely up for grabs. So now watch. If I'm low on HP, boom. I'm low on HP now. And I'm stronger. Hoo -yah! So we need a corrosive cloud grenade. So I can put myself low. I'll take a fire burst even at this point. I'm already full on launcher ammo again. It's crazy. Um. Ah. <sighs> Annex that's in. It's like, I need more loot. Where can I find it? I need to find the, the pressure plate or something here. But you know what? Whatever. We're going to the next stage. I think might be a boss. There seems to be hope for this run. <laughs> no, there is hope. There is hope. Like, we're not we're not stopping the run. The, the run lives. Yet live on. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh! Wait, catch, catch! Oh dang. Why do I keep using my Buzzard fan page early? Because I'm I don't have discipline. That's what it is. You're happy. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Later. Okay, I think we can just simply run over here. I think this is the stage is a little bit wonky. Oh, finally, a loot enemy. In all my days, what are you gonna give me? Infinity pistol. Let's have some fun. This beat. Let's have some fun. This. A gun is sick. I want to run some runs with the infinity whip. <laughs> I don't know. Don't put me on the spot like that. It's your fault, not mine. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Krieg. All right. <laughs> Bars. Thank you. Thank you. A fire burst. Okay. We're officially in business. I think I could also use something like a, a corrosive grenade it's a good time to test because there's no enemies around okay so if i toss a corrosive grenade it hit me i don't care just blow up yeah i changed my mind by hitting me and i get in there no it just goes away it's you it's not good it's not good but i have to use something like a fire burst all right fire burst Porsche. Let it tag me a little. It's gotta break my shields, the problem. Actually, got, it's gotta do more than break my shield. It's gotta put me below 33% HP. But it's fire, so I gotta be real careful. Okay, do you understand? Now, do you understand why I want the Corrosive Cloud? Because it puts me down slower. Slower. In heat of battle, I don't want to have to one-shot myself when Hyperius's droids are smacking me, you know what I'm saying? And I posted that video. I posted a video of the Cross of Cloud tech. Like, this is how you get insta-wins. Okay, so we've got two muckamucks here. I mean, I do. I, I am a, a muckamuck enjoyer enthusiast, but not on Kree. You. Oh, 
I like Oprah kills. Let's replace our slag option with this shock with this slag overkill. That'll be good because it that we do scale shotgun damage with we scale shotgun damage with about the wound. Five percent per stack, twenty that's a hundred percent. Shotgun damage. And it's slag them. So it's officially our slag option. Do you have to get five points to put in? We are gonna go a little bit more damage reduction while we are in Bozak's Rampage and then Bozak's Bombardier and then Fuel the Blood. You officially are scaling all the things. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody clap your hands, hands, clap, 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 clap your hands. The build is synergistic. It all came round. We have the skill points. Now it's just about the the engine is there. Our melee damage is doing good things for us. So. Everything will be easier, much much easier now. Let's take an impaler shield and let's equip an impaler shield. And it's like, even if the impaler somehow dots us, that's not a bad thing. now how this works is when I get a melee kill and when I get a melee kill I get bonus grenade damage I can't get this melee kill because I'm trash I should have just I should have just gone over here and thrown a fire burst grenade Oh, I can just wait this out. Go ahead. Go ahead, you two. Put me down a little bit lower, please. A little bit lower. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta be really focused there. Can't waste Buzzax Rampage. You are the one causing my problems. But after I get a... A melee kill... I get grenade damage. In Buzzax Rampage, Buzzax tosses are now explosive. And they do grenade damage. Okay. It's always feel the rampage, which is not what I want at all. Wow. I mean, if, if, if those who play Krieg right there in that chest know, like, at my luck was putrid. <laughs> right, I know I'm going to spawn a bunch of enemies for this one. I feel like this is, like, designed... Oh, but we get paid out with Hellfire. Pivot the build. Pivot the build. Pivot the build. You have... You have the great equalizer. You have a Hellfire. What else do you... What else could you possibly want? Mm, boo, not pivoting. Not pivoting. Not pivoting. Look at this guy. Acting like he owns the place. I am not pivoting to fire. But this guy is like, this guy is like, can't I? Freak, stop hitting yourself. Please. I have to swing. The worst part. There we go. We care about drifter eggs. I would say we do. This time, we actually are going to shoot up. Get ourselves some Drifter eggs. We want those Grenages. We want those shields. You might think that I would want to go fire. Because this is Hellfire, but... Uh, I definitely don't. If I get a legendary torch class mod though, then I then we're talking. I might uh, consider doing it. Just the Hellfire is not good enough. It doesn't put out enough deeps. I'm using like the fuse as of right now, but later on, you know, Bandit Launcher could be a good slot four weapon. All right, Blood Tail, it's just you and me now. Nobody left. I did the whole stage. Tag you. All right, you know what? I'll help you out. Here. 
You show off the tech. Impaler goes down. Okay, now we smack you. It's not that bad. Actually, it's actually faster for speedrun tech. For speedrun tech, I think the, the fire burst actually is better. It's like as long as like what you got slow you got slow fingers. Slow. F Here's what it is, and this is exactly what it is. People with slow fingers use corrosive clouds. Meanwhile, people with fast fingers use fire bursts. Yes or no? Um, turtle shield. I feel like if you wanted to be mega ham, but I don't think it's worth it. 33% absorb is good. A longbow corrosive cloud and, and, the, and the, the stars align. I'm sticking with my fire burst for now. I might consider it. Okay, I'm seeing a great class mod for a torch. Could be great. Health regen. Felt the wound. Empty the rage. I kind of like, but I like my extra health. Is my thing. I like having the extra health. Big skill. It's a big skill for me. All right, we can get a lot more damage now. I'm gonna take one point in blood trance just just because, and I know that this will that can potentially throw the run, throw it completely. I agree. Oh, this would be a great round to be a torch. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm respecting. I I am respecting. Okay, do we just take the burn damage one? Fine. Fine. This, what are the skills? What are, what are our options? Burn baby burn, build a fire, and flame flare? Sure. I'll take all three. Um, numb nerves is great. Elemental elation, elemental empathy. That's an engine piece. Your engine piece. Skills. Um, all status effects we do has a chance to light us on fire, which is very, very strong. More gun damage is strong. And then we're going to go for blood filled guns because we are doing fire dots. It does make sense for us. And then I think for me at the current moment, do I want to increase my max health or no? Good question. I want fire rate. I want this one right here a lot. I only have three points left. So I'm gonna take feed the meat. And for my shield, I think this adaptive shield's fine. I'm gonna be doing shield stuff anyways. Alright, and then my grenade is gonna be very specific. Yeah, a fire burst is fine. This will be go very well with my build. I got I have to hit the pool. Alright, we're officially torching up. All players need to be present. I get soft locked. That's how it ends. I'm here. There's no one here with me. I'm the only player in my party. All players must be present. Okay. I'll go I'll go, go get them. Don't worry. See. Run around. Shoot some balloons. I caused some havoc. Oh look, it's me. I'm the player. There's no one else here. Balloons. Okay, we're all back. Oh well, all players have to be present to continue. Hmm. Like we're soft locked. 
is what it is but honestly at hour 25 i mean this is a decently long episode for you guys let's let's ring the bell yeah you know what we could do okay they said they added some easter eggs and we've been meaning to like search some some of the stages let's go ahead and search the stage real quick for targets on the walls or something and then we'll call it Okay. I didn't see anything. But I'm wondering if I shoot that bell. Bell is calling my name. Appear in spaceship in the background. Yeah. You know what? Let's just go ahead and uh, call it here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.